Good morning. Welcome. How's everybody doing? It's about uh, 5 o'clock in the morning, I'd say. I couldn't sleep, so I figured might as well uh, start start on this adjustable wrench. It's kind of like a vice grips. Um, clamps down. It's made by looks like BMC Manufacturing Corp. I'll put a alloy artifacts link down here somewhere. Yeah, somewhere in this area. Alloy Artifacts is a really good website for looking stuff up. Um, Google works. I call it Google Foo. It's like Kung Fu, but Google. <laughs> Anyways, uh, we're going to put this in the tumbler and uh, see how clean it gets it. I don't really know if I want to take it completely apart. So let's tumble it and we'll go from there. Okay, this is just a cheap Chinesium tumbler. No name brand. Well, it's got a name, but I prefer not to say it. Um, It does its job. So we're just going to throw this in. This will just do it right like that. Trying to get it so it'll kind of bounce around. Okay. Perfect. We'll put the lid on. See if I lose all the pieces. Then we'll let it go for um, a couple hours. Then I'll bring you guys back. And girls. Might be one or two out there. Hope everybody's doing good. Had an amazing trip taking my daughter to college. It was awesome. But uh, they're expecting a hurricane now, so I'm kind of worried about her. But we taught her good. She'll be all right. All right, we'll be back. Hey, let's check it out. Been in for a few hours. I cleaned it up some. We're going to put it in um, some rust remover. We're going to put it in um, rust remover soak. I'm also going to throw in the alligator wrench. This stuff works really good. Once it turns black, it doesn't work as good, but... We'll just leave that in there. Let's 
It's got some bubbles. I don't know how it works. It's magic. It's fucking pixies and shit. Alright, we'll be back. Okay, it's the next day. Gave her a 24 hour soak. Oh yeah, looks way better. I would take it apart and clean it, but I think with all these rivets, I'll do more damage than good. So we're just gonna clean it up as best as we can. Right now it's working. Nice. Wonder why they welded that. Don't know. Odd. See if we can um, I don't know if you can see that it's BMC Manufacturing Corp number seven Bing Hampton New York USA or US America So let's uh, grind this down. I don't know what to do about this, probably have to just cut it off around here. Okay, one down, one to go. Forgot about the alligator wrench we put in there. No more rust whatsoever. So I'm gonna go and clean this up and then we'll 
take a look at the finished products. Wish me luck. The wrench turned out pretty good. Uh, there's not much I could do about this plastic. But uh, I cleaned it up a little bit. And the more I cleaned it up, the more it would pit. But otherwise it looks really good. It's made by BMC Ma Manufacturing Corp. Number 7. Which is Binghampton Manufacturing Corp. It was a dealership and they made tools in their uh, basement from what I've read up. I'll post a, a picture like somewhere around here. But it's adjustable and it's a pressure lock plier. So it doesn't really lock. You hold pressure on it and it multiplies the pressure. Well, I guess it does lock. Make a liar out of me. Huh. Awesome. Never seen another one like it. And the alligator wrench. Oh, this is from uh, 1954, I think they started making them. Early 1950s. And this is an alligator wrench. It is VMB Manufacturing Company, patent July 26, 1898, number 12. And I think it's for square bolts, but it's like a multi wrench. So you could use this for bigger ones, smaller ones. Pretty cool. I don't have one. It'll go on the wall. So these, I guess, are used for pipe also. And these are different sizes for square nuts. Um, I'll post a picture of the information I found on it. But if you could, like, comment, subscribe, all that genius stuff. And uh, we'll see you on the next one.